sake of mouth, fish get catch. Shh. Don't use your mouth too much. And also sometimes it means stop minding other people's business. Sake of mouth, fish get catch. I know you want to make my love you. I know body where you have make my love you. Welcome to the channel. And today I'll be telling you five more Jamaican proverbs and their meanings. Now, the first Jamaican proverb is Seek a moat, fish get catch. Alright, so what that means basically, if you speak too much, you will get yourself in trouble. Remember, in order for a fish to be caught, if you go fishing, the hook usually hooks its mouth because you put the bait on the hook and then the fish in turn eats the bait. That's why it's called a bait. So you use the bait to catch the fish in the mouth. So that means if you use your mouth, you will get caught. And usually, when you get caught, you'll get into trouble. So that just tells you, shh, don't use them out too much. And also, sometimes it means stop minding other people's business. Say come out, fish get catch. The second Jamaican proverb is, bend the tree when it's young. That means when you have a child or you are teaching somebody something, it is more ideal to teach the person or the child certain types of behaviors or mannerisms or proper moral standards when they are young because children live what they learn and when a child learns something when they are young chances are they will keep that knowledge that information until the day they pass they will live by that so they say bend the tree curve that child nip it in the bud curve the tree when it's young bend the tree when it's young teach children the right way that they need to know the best way how to live proper morals proper etiquette etc teach them the right thing when they are young because when they're older it's going to be more difficult or even impossible to teach them anything at all when they are young. The third Jamaican proverb is trouble not set like rain. So what that means is that sometimes when you end up in difficulties or you end up in dilemmas, usually they happen without a warning. A lot of times when people happen to find themselves in very difficult situations or surprising situations, it comes without a warning. Trouble not set like rain basically means when you look at the weather, like if you look at the weather around me now, you could tell that it might rain because the weather is cloudy. Usually when it's about to rain, you'll get a warning. The sun goes down, the time gets cooler, the time gets darker, you see more clothes, the clothes look dark. Do you understand? So you will know, okay, it might rain or it is about to rain. Trouble not set like rain. Jamaican people say rain set. Look if rain and set for fall. So it just means that look if the rain looks like it's about to fall. So trouble not set like rain means that you will get into trouble a lot of times or bad things will happen to you usually without a warning trouble comes without a warning trouble not sit like rain now the fourth jamaican proverb is learn for creep before you walk and that simply means in life when you're dealing with any type of matter any type of situation especially complex situations it would be smarter to take it step by step so let's say you have a big project to do or let's say you're doing something as simple as cleaning your house um instead of off overwhelming yourself sorry and said oh the house is so dirty i don't know how to clean it i don't know where to start start with one room you could start with the kitchen you understand step by step start with the kitchen and then you could start start with the bathroom start you understand room by room step by step or in another sense let's say you want to build a house and you would dream yourself a five bedroom house it wouldn't be wise to start off with this big whole house what would be wise is if you started with one room move into the one room and then take it step by step a lot of people when they're building houses some of them take out a loan some of them are trying to stop paying rent and trying to transition from rent to ownership so if you want to transition from rent to ownership if you want to come out of that situation sooner than later it would be wiser to probably start with one room moving and then after you've made yourself comfortable then you go ahead and then do this big building right so they say learn to creep before you walk that's kind of what it means all right so those were your five jamaican proverbs and their meanings thank you so much for watching the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe please don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave your comments below